All right, good morning. Happy Father's Day. It's June 21st, 2015, and welcome to my second video of I YouTubed it, cat six wiring of my um, brand new home um, that's currently been being built under construction. Um, in the first video, I showed you the tools I was going to need for the job. In the second video, I'm going to show you the actual home itself being under construction and the uh, stick frame in and where I want to put my my cat six wiring so uh, we're in the house right now um, it's eight o'clock in the morning um, it's heavily wooded area so the lighting probably is not the best in the world um, pretty nice area I just saw a wild turkey kind of tripped me up because I wasn't expecting to see one either which way so I'm in the living room area of the house. Um, this is the fireplace, and this is where the um, low voltage guys have placed the first um, Ethernet port right above the fireplace. I'm second guessing this very much. Don't necessarily know if I want to have my TV above the fireplace, but regardless, this is just going to be temporary. This is only for uh, until we get the home theater finished downstairs in the basement, but that won't be finished until we move out of the house. We're now in the master bedroom area. Um, it's a nice recess lighting. It's a funky type of setup, but anyways, this is the second spot where we're gonna do the, um, where the uh, low voltage guys hooked up the um, ethernet port. I'm actually gonna add a second ethernet port right here. Um, that's going to be for my Xbox or my extender. I don't want it to be seen, so I put, try to put it up a little out of the way. And then I have another port. I'm going to Ethernet port. I'm probably going to drop two lines right over here, right next to the master bedroom door um, for sensors and for just, you know, whatever, extra security. Another view outside. Um, over there is the master bathroom, master closet for the abysses, one for me and the commode but we're here to look at the ethernet ports so i'm gonna put another ethernet port here um back in the living room ethernet port right over here um i'm gonna put an ethernet port right here and this is near the nook area and the dining kitchen area um so this is an informal um, dining spot if you will um here's our pantry I'm gonna to try to put a ethernet port up there somewhere. Um, I think essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run an HDMI cable uh, about 25 feet from the pantry to the fireplace. So again, the Xbox or my, my, my media extender, which will be the Xbox won't be seen. Here's the formal dining room. Um, you know, not overly aggressively big. I'm actually gonna add two two uh, cat six cables right here in the dining room area and it's not really for the dining room at all but really it's for outside um, I know my um, one of my outdoor water spigots will be out here and I also realize that my um, my electrical outlet for outside will be out here as well so hopefully the idea is eventually when I do my home sprinkler system and so forth that I can easily you know, drill through the not the brick but the siding and be able to hook up my sprinkler system um, again ultimately the long-term goal of this is to essentially um, get the locks on um, automated home system anyways I'm gonna go upstairs we have four bedrooms upstairs and um, this is where the third ethernet port will be third or fourth third yeah third ethernet port will be right here and um, I'm going to actually have some pre-drill holes here I'm going to bring my other ethernet ports and I'm going to try to get to the other um, brooms in that upstairs there's four bedrooms upstairs that I was one there's a second one 
right over here. I'll try to run the cords through the roof somehow. This is the third bedroom. We're gonna try to put two ports as close to the window as possible. And this is the fourth bedroom. We're going to put the ports right here. I do have to make a T of this um, electrical outlet here, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. So those are three of the four ports. Um, the fourth port will be here in the home office. And the low voltage guys put it right over here. Um, you know, I thought about adding an extra port here, but I figured this is the home office. I can just probably put a small switch over here, make that port turn into to four ports or even five for the printers and things of that nature. So I'm not going to add another port here. What I will do is try to add two or three ports, so at the very least one here, so I can have a port for the garage in the event I need to do some work, use the PC, and so forth. So um, last but not least, we're going to go down to the basement, and I can tell you right now the lighting is bad. Hopefully it comes through, not too sure. This is a small kitchen area, small bathroom, and another bedroom here in the basement. I'm going to add an Ethernet port right over here. And uh, that's it. This part of the basement will be eh, definitely lighting is bad. So, this part of the basement is going to remain unfinished. And this part of the basement will be the future. Yeah, it's definitely too dark. So. I'll be the future home um, theater. Anyway, so that's the plan for today. We'll see how productive I can be. Hopefully I'll be able to get all these things taken care of in an eight hour period. So next time I'm on, hopefully I'll be done. Till next time.